I will see to it. before I let you take this fortress! Take this fortress, Dane. 
Alfred's army will smear your innards across the battlements. We are not here for stone and sand, Thane Tetmund. I shit on you! You and your toy gods! I will not bow to you like some puppet's lord! I would rather die! How much will your king pay us to keep your sniveling head upon your neck? An army marches upon us from the south. A holy man from St. Hadrian's Priory, backed by a field. Ah, then, Abbot. Kinnebert? God be praised! If riches are all you care about, the Church has it in abundance. If the terms are fair, you'll have your freedom. A chest or two of silver for a shit-stained sewer rat. Stay quiet, or I'll not be able to stop my friend from slitting your throat. Ah! Watch yourself, heathen! You handle me no. too roughly! You will die for the indignities you've showered upon me, Dane! I mean no offense, Thane. You're only a hefty ransom to me, nothing more. This is why you batter down my gates, kill my men for a purse of grubby coin? You have no honor! Enough! Or I'll return you to the Saxons. Ah. <clears throat> you there! Heathens! Let this good man go, or suffer an iron sickness. And what do you offer us in return? Your lives? We lost many good men storming this keep. It will not be in vain, Christ's slave. Twenty chests of silver! Give them all they ask, Kinnebert! A hefty sum that will leave God's coffers hollow? I cannot give it up without some assurance. Tedmund, you extort me in return for my life? You were swiftly met, Abbot. Not long after these... these scallious worms took my fort. On the Lord's bidding, Tedmund, at prayer, a terrible vision befell me. A host of heathens, your life in danger. A coincidence I find rather... <coughs> rather ominous, Abbot. Do you... <coughs> God help you, man. Are you well? Air. I need... I need air! <coughs> Is dead. The work of poison, no doubt. No, 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 no. Rouse the man. He cannot be dead. He must not be dead. Poison? How does the man die of poison in our arms? Many great kings and paranoids have carried poison in times of war as an alternative to capture and ransom. A catastrophe! Alfred will choose another and... By the saints! Alfred! How will I explain this to the king? We followed this road to its end, Cunebert. You may not like where it led, but you owe us our half of the bargain. You shall have your paladin. I need a day. Return to my abbey tomorrow, and you shall... Oh, dear, oh dear. These delays are grinding at my bones. We should abandon Cunebert. Find full care ourselves. Peace, Eivor. Speak with Giedrich and relieve him of his oath. I'll meet you at Cunebert's abbey. Fought like beasts, escaped from your hell today, Giedrich. Your oath to me is fulfilled. It was good to stand shoulder to shoulder with you against the pox dogs of Wessex. May our friendship endure. This tangle briar of Christians and lords means nothing to me. I'm here for Sigurd. I understand. When you find him again, come see me. We'll feast and sing with mead and friendship to warm us. Agreed. I must be careful now.
would say well met, brother. But I cannot shake off the needle itch of dread. Is something wrong? I followed the abbot here, kept him in my sight. But the monks, his servants, I have seen nothing of them. Dead? I do not think so. But there is no good here in this grave hush. And where is the abbot now? In his quarters. Come, and be on your guard. Does this have the stench of betrayal to you? Why would the godly shepherd ally with the heretic? Kunebad is a man who craves power and position. With Tetman dead, he must find it somewhere else. There is truth in that. Keep your eyes and blade sharp. Cunebert, your guests have arrived. Come. Supper's ready. The dear abbot sent me a warm invitation, said my friends were eager to meet with me. It's early for supper, I know. But Kinnebert's ale goes so well with roasted lamb and cinnamon blueberry peas. I couldn't resist. Where is my brother? Is he... is he not here? Mon Dieu. I never told him. Kill her, and we'll never find Sigurd. Sit. Ava, eat. And let me tell you the tale of a man who talks with gods. You mock me. I've killed for much less. Of course you have. Isn't that the way of this ugly world? We call the sheep and thin the flock as we see fit, you and I. Most who walk the earth are little more than talking blood bladders, wasted flesh. But not Sigurd. Sigurd is something else. Sigurd has been touched. He is deified. The gods, they speak through him. You lured him in with that lie. Your words are bile and blight. You should have listened, Avar. I tried to tell you. The gods are real and their power is within our grasp. Ah! You will never find him. Not till I have had my fill. To old friends. This really is delicious, Kinnebert. Is it cloves I taste? Well, that concludes supper. Kill them, and bring their bodies to my sanctum in Canterbury. They will be upon us soon. Maybe there is a deal with the or something. You're the god of the axe, Saxons! Okay, let slip that her sanctum is at Canterbury. She did, and with no cause. I'd approach the place with caution. It may be a lie. It may be, but it's the only lead we have. I hope all this innocent sacrifice is worth the trouble. It's Sigurd, my brother. Of course it is. Then come, let us dive into the maw of death. I was never keen on seeing my winter years. This will not be for nothing, Eivor. We will find Sigurd. It's not just him. I want Fulke to suffer.
smells like a trap. The ladies, lots of ladies dancing in the dell, chicken in their shirts and... What troubles you, old man? Please, I'll make you. How many... How many what? The stones. Every time I count them, the answer is different. First twenty, then twenty-one. The fair folk... Rock cannot appear and disappear. Run round and round. Pick up your skirts. Don't drag your robes through the dirt. Lords and ladies, lords and ladies, dancing in the dell. Your stone centuries. I've count... And? How many lords and ladies come to dance a jig? There are twenty-one. I am as sure as I can be. See? Never the same. Never the same. Please. Lords and ladies, lords... I cannot get the same number twice. Never the same. Never the same. Cobweb cloaks and magpie hats. Are there 21? I, I cannot see. See? Never the same. Never the... Lords and ladies... This is madness. They change each time. Don't close your eyes, or they'll steal the glinting flint. Scrabble it away. Perhaps there are 23. Ha! They have bewitched you too. Twirl and spin and dance and grin. Who came crawling from the moor like a fat black rabbit without any legs? I see you. I don't know how to help you. It seems as if the stones appear and disappear at will. You should not stay here. Leave. Leave before... Does Grimir toy with me? Casting his magic in England. That stone... Was it here before? And where is my mad friend? Damn this cursed place. Just raise my hood here. Swarms of Furkis people. Sigurd would be well guarded. Portion and sun. What do you see? Ready? Follow me. This place swarms with Furkis people. Sigurd would be well guarded. 
caution and subtlety should be our path. This area is off limits. This is a trap. Why would Fulke give us her sanctum? She baits us. Cucks your and arrow. Too close. Yeah. Hey. Meet your fate! <laughs> Baits us. Cocksure and arrogant. But she cannot see failure in her man. Her fearful wit would say otherwise. To arms, Basim! So we are to blunder in like an ox? Chastise me like a child, Basim. I guard you like a father. Nothing is served with your brutal end. You have much to do in this life. I know it. No riddle. I this within you both. Your destiny is not to stain the stones of this podcast. Come here! Help me out here! If she's still here, a 
will burn this Christ house to the ground. Die now. <laughs> Way to full case seven. If she's still here, I will burn this Christ house to the ground. word tangles that speak of elves and demons. Details on the Order of the Ancients. Fulke ranks high among them, but is not their head. The Gospel of Mary Magdalene. Sussex. The order trained soldiers there. We must be sure. Secret is running out of time. Anything else? Documents of interest to the hidden ones. Hytham will surely want to look. But for Sigurd. Porchester is our only lead. <sighs> if he is in Porchester Castle, we'll need a massive army to crack its walls. I have many friends in England now. If I call on them, they will come. They will. Basim. She severed his arm clean off. Can a man survive such a loss? Physically, he can. Mentally, it's hard to say. So much stress can drive a man to despair. If you suggest he might take his own life as Tedman did, banish that idea. I must tell my people at the settlement that their Jarl remains a captive. They will not take it well. We will not fail again, Eivor. I'll scout ahead and send word to the settlement when I know more of Porchester. Be ready.
Tour at Marcus et Dixit at Vulgares de Terra Super.
Ut congregentur ad Marcus Dixit ad Bulgare. Sir Ad Eos Rapskiles Andreas One more, and only because you all have such good taste. <laughs> now, this one, this one begins in a long time ago. I cleared Winchester of the Order, yet to do so meant working with King Alfred. Your poor fellow soldier led you to the King of Wessex? How very strange. He, or she... I have to go. Then go in peace. begins a long time ago at a desert oasis. <laughs> Here. 
Here you are. More relics for your collection. Let me see what you have. Wonderful. And here is something for you. Bring me more like this. I will see you later, friend. Valet! Sigurd. He... he's alive, but not with you. Where is he? Dag, not now. I need to speak with Randvi. You never found him, did you? Tell us, Eivor! We deserve the truth! I need to speak with Randvi. Step aside, now! You never found him, because you didn't look! <clears throat> I see you, Eivor! I know what you are. Eivor, you come alone. I fear what that means for Sigurd. I... I could not find him. That madwoman Fulke, she... she slipped away, took him to Sussex. We need an army. Call on our alliances. Remind them of their oath to me. We must act before... Before... Before what, Eivor? She tortured him, Randri. Did unspeakable things. Severed his arm and left it as a gift. I fear she means to kill him. Slowly. Gods. The Wolfka! So glad to see you. The Wolfka! So glad to see you. Wolfkist, this ends now. Dag, turn around and walk away. Your habits are not my own, Eivor. I do not flee responsibility for the sake of my glory. I stand firm with my people. For many months, I have stood at your side, keeping faith in Sigurd's judgment. Because I believed in him, do as Eivor commands, he told me. And I have. Against my better judgment, I did as you have asked me. And where has that left us? Without a Jarl? Without a purpose? Watching you chase glory around this land like a... You could have come to me in confidence, Dag. But that offer is gone. I have no need of it. My mind is fixed. Hear me all! I challenge Eivor for the leadership of this clan until Sigurd is safe home. Walk away, Dag. No! We fight to the death! I accept. 
We settle this now. Ah! A final act of courage! Very well. Let the circle be made! The goblet of your skull! not need to happen. A coward to the last. Have courage, Avon. Make it quick. I would grant you exile. Leave this place, but go with your life. Spare me your pity and fight! So be it. You leave me no choice. If I had any pity, I would not lavish it on this poor fool. He forced my hand. Yes, and the cost of disrespect is death. You said it yourself. All he demanded, you gave him. That should be enough. I have no need for one so fragile in my hall of heroes. He fought for what he believed in. Does that not count for something? Does it? You killed him all the same. What is the true cost of disrespect? The choice lies with you. You should not have come to this, old friend. Take this and fly to Odin's Hall. Whatever you sought in this life, I can find it in the next. <clears throat> Go to your homes. I will lay him to rest. Go to your homes! The bag accused me of betrayal. He accused me of breaking my oath. And this! This is the answer I gave him! Now you will hear the truth unmanaged. None, none more than me wishes for Sigurd's safe return. You know this. You know this. All of you! And I will burn the fields! And dredge the rivers of Wessex to find him! That! That is my oath! That is my oath. Sigurd. You will not be without your Jarl, as I promise. Dag, you lived as you died, proud and defiant. I cannot begrudge you for that. I miss hearing you tell your stories, old friend. But I remember them well.
What did them the Eivor? How do you feel, Eivor? I would rather not talk about it. I understand. I want to see the Alliance map. mind is fixed on Sussex. Basim and I have a chance to save Sigurd, but we will need an army. That is for you to decide. The more alliances you have, the better your chances at victory. I will go now, and I will bring Sigurd back with me. That is a promise. Good. I will send word to our allies at once. Meet with Basim when you can. He should be in Croydon by now. Red basket of Wessex, land of plenty. about this land, my friend. <laughs> 
Det är ett akvärt fjol från Eivor, you giant steaming bowl of elk piss! <laughs> King Oswald sends his regards. Brother, brother. Oh, is... It's... Uh, good to see you, Eivor. Oh, stop mewing like a heartsick kitten! There will be time later to reminisce. Are you madmen ready to spill some blood? After that bastard red, some nice soft Saxons will make easy meat for my blade. You wouldn't be the first man to fall asleep on watch, but you would be the loudest. I did not mean to fail you, Gudrun Jarl. It was only for a moment. I was so tired. As are we all, boy. We marched hard to get here. Still, let's not disappoint me again. You hear? My Jarl! You must be Eivor. I've heard much of you, young one. They say you're something. We'll see. Guthrum Jarl, Saxon Bane and Reaver of the South. I am honored to meet you at last. Respect where it's due. I like that. Here's hoping you fight as smoothly as you talk. Aver hopes to rescue Sigurd from the madwoman Fulke, now ensconced in Porchester Fortress. If you wish to crown yourself King of Wessex, Porchester must fall. An alliance here serves... You promised a great army, but you couldn't breach a Kron's garden with what you have assembled here. This is not the sum of my forces. Where are the rest? Your allies are on their way. We must be patient. We cannot wait for them. We march as soon as we're able. With these numbers, are you keen to see Valhalla today? I will not sit on my heels while Sigurd ruts in that she-dog's care. We might muster for an attack in the woods east of Porchester. But there are scouts between there and here. Scouts I can manage. Point me at them and I will blind Fulke's eyes. One walks the road between Briggsworth and Chichester. Another on the riverbank north of Crow. A third keeps watch on the hills south of Croindene. But I warn you, these are all we know of. There may be more. A risk we must take. I will find the scouts. You move the men into... That is a rash gamble, Ravenfear. If we are spotted, we will be vulnerable. If you want victory, come now or not at all. Every hour we waste could be Seeker's last. You had better be all they promised. That snake. It's this way. Calm down. I said there would be a scout on this hill. I smell blood on the air. I smell blood on the air. Death is close. Someone will put the scout before me.
see you, old friend. A scout patrols the riverbank north of Crowley. Okay, scout. Right where Basson said he would be. <laughs> Orders from Fouke. I should show this to Basson once I've dealt with the others. Should work. 